Hey you guys, it's Anne Marie. Snow! And because I ain't no spiritual punk bitch, I came back. I came back to the place where I was knocked the fuck out by a tree branch. I only like to say the word branch because it was bigger than a fucking branch. It was huge. And of course, because it snowed, I can't find it. Uh, I'm just going to look for it <laughs> and make it a walking stick. It would have been too, actually too wide for a walking stick, um, actually. But I was just going to, I think about it, but I was just going to take it for a souvenir and make something beautiful out of it. Like I do everything. So, but I think we're kind of ass out on that idea. But it was a great idea. Let me show you what we're looking at here. Yeah, it, there was, I mean, I'm obviously surrounded by trees. But as you can see, they're not really big. But of course, when shit falls from a high distance, um, it could hurt. <laughs> Feels a lot heavier. Um, it was something like this. It was bigger than a, a little bigger than that. But that's neither here nor there now because we're, we're back. We are revisiting the trauma site because that's what we do. And you know, that almost looks like it right there. Yeah, that's exactly, <laughs> here it is. See, take the snow. No, here it is. Yeah, this whole thing is stuck down on this tree. But look, I just want to show you this, which is weird because it only comes from this type of tree. But anyway, this is what fell and knocked me out. I love you, as my friend said. It's a trickster spirit, because. <laughs> but anyway, so there's the branch that knocked me out. But you know what's interesting about life? Is so even though I had to use all the funds I had to get a phone, the actual experience at the cell phone store wasn't more traumatic. Usually it is. And what's even better, is I got a job yesterday. Yep. Now, it's not even really minimum wage. <laughs> However, it's at a place I love with people who feed energy. It's a reciprocal type of energetic exchange. And it's a safe place for me mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. And though it's probably only for a month or two, it'll be enough to provide the cat food, gas in the car, and, you know, pay my cell phone bill so I won't have to, you know, ask people, which I hate asking for help. I'm still working on that. So I am so grateful. And you know what's different about me today? That's how I know I've grown a lot. And I know we live in a monetary society. Money cars. Money cars, hoes and bitches. Or whatever. Um, that doesn't drive me anymore. Now how that's going to work, it's been working somehow. I've been, I'm grateful for those who have helped me out. Short term, long term, whatever way. They have helped me out. I'm grateful for it. Because I've been able to kind of figure this out. To show other people how we do this. We're not chasing the dollar. And we're at jobs or around people, places, or things. I don't give a fuck about us. I just want to suck the life out of us. And then we wonder why we end up being 30, 40, 50, 60 years old. Unhappy as fuck. Content. But then you always have to work to maintain all the little trinkets that you have. And this is no dig on anybody. We're at the root portal here. Since that video got, you know, whatever. And it's no dig on anybody else, but there's a large majority of people waking up, realizing that this isn't what it is. You know, some people are going to stay asleep. It's not our job to wake folks up. Those who, well, at least for me, it's not. 
I'm, I'm speak on my path. Those who have wakened up, those who want clarity and understanding, me, like a lot of other people, offer alternative ways, other ways that we have ourselves learned to survive, live, and heal. Heal is my thing. Better ways to heal that haven't been presented to me in the past. I've been able to do that by incorporating not just my, not really my education at all, my life experiences <laughs> and what my spirit guides and mother nature and my team have shown me and taught me and how I've had to learn myself through doing it. And it's weird because it's not, be careful, Amory. It's not as easy as, oh, go do this and this works. Not for me it wasn't. I had to trial and error, trial and error. A lot of fear, a lot of, you know, double back and a lot of having to do things over and over again or different ways. All those birds flying above me. To kind of figure that out for me. But what I do know is that we live in a society that's constantly depressed, constantly have anxiety, constantly chasing something and, and, and projecting our own fears, and our own insecurities and, you know, all those things that then in turn make us unhappy motherfuckers. I got a better way. I'm not saying it's the only way. I don't believe in that. Those who've tried a lot of things like me, read the books. Did the mantras. Did that, did that, did that, did that. And so I found my answer. Mother Earth, Mother Gaia, Source and Spirit. You know, when it was told to me, there was a board meeting at this place. And one of the board members, I knew. And then when he came out, he said, he said my name. He said, Come here. Put his arm around me. And he has his own church now. Him and I also used to do outreach together back in the day. And then when I got clean, he was opening up his church. Um, small church, and I went to it once or twice. Besides that, in the um, main church I went to when I got clean. Uh, those were the only ones I would go to. And he's a diehard, you know, pastor. And he was saying, you know what, well, there's no other person better for this position because of your testimony. And in my mind, I'm thinking like, oh, Mr. Hall, you don't haven't even known the last two years. You know, the person I am today is definitely different than even the person you knew two years ago. But that's neither here nor there. And it reminded me and gave me this breath of fresh air of, uh, it doesn't matter what you go through. It doesn't matter. I mean, you guys, not even a week ago, I was prepared to sleep in my car. And I was okay with it. I was okay with, not just, but volunteering at a place that I love. Getting little scraps here and there, you know, because I stopped. I really did. I stopped giving a fuck. I stopped caring um, about those material things. And I really learned how I could do so much more with barely anything. But what I had inside me was my spirit and my willpower. And... You may want to scroll for this next part because this is only for a select few who speak the same language I speak. Don't get it twisted. There's a huge spiritual warfare out here. There's a lot of people out here that don't want to see us win. And there's all kinds of ways to manipulate. And I actually did a message a few months ago about people manipulating the weather, being able to do that, doing certain things to hinder some of us. Those who do work a lot with the elements and things like that, the manipulation. And if you think what I'm saying is crazy talk, then you shouldn't be following me anyway. But those of you who know, who know how this thing goes. Time and time again, I could, I sense things coming. I know people want me to shut the fuck up. I know people want me to fail. I know people have been paid. I know there's investigators. And that fear... Regardless of if my situation resonates with you or not, the fear is what resonates with a lot of people. The fear like, oh my gosh. I've totally stepped away from that fear. That fear kept me stuck. Fear often keeps us stuck. Unfortunately. And fear is man-made. The fear is past, in my opinion... The things I didn't deal with in the past or things I couldn't understand.